Hello everyone and welcome to T-Dub's channel. I am T-Dub and I'm here today to let you guys know how to increase your Bluestacks frames. I personally have been using Bluestacks for over a year and playing many mobile games online. Yesterday, I was presented some information by the token collector on Twitch, token underscore collector, and I found this information to be very useful. This information is simply how to take your blue stacks and change the settings, therefore giving you an increased frame rate. Now, I've been stuck at 30 frames for the last year. Now, I enjoy playing this game at a high frame rate. I think all of you would too. Therefore, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to increase your frame rate on your blue stacks, showing you my settings, and then letting you guys also see the exact actions that I took to get the increased frames. Like, I'm sitting at 30. This is where I've been at. I restarted the settings. I have watched several videos, and there was one little point that were, was probably in the other videos that I missed, but I, I did see quite a few videos, and therefore, I wanna go ahead and let you guys in on what I did, and let me, let me show you how that works. So we're gonna go into my blue stacks, and I'm going to show you my current settings, just overall, and what I've been using, you know, nothing out of the ordinary special. And we'll go through each one, just custom, four gigs, six cores, very, you know, open GL, preferred de dedicated computer graphics. That's, and I have an NVIDIA card. I have a GeForce RTX 2070 Super PCI. I have hardware decoding. And then here is the, this is, this is where all the magic happens, right? This is where all the magic happens. And what we want to do here is that you can't just set the frame rates where you want to be. You know what I mean? You have to, unfortunately, kind of manipulate the system in order to achieve high frame rates. Because I can't just set what I want, hit save, and then it work. Unfortunately, Bluestacks has maybe an error or something that I'm missing, but I do believe other videos have been made about this, but this is the part that means the most right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to close our favorite game in which I play Marvel Strike Force, and it's a game that I love, and we have our ups and downs, but I'm still playing it today. And so therefore, I want to show how... I can achieve such high frames and how you do it it's very simple it's very simple you take your your frame rates you take it all the way to one you take it all the way to one and you disable enable high frame rates and then you click on save now then we're going to go ahead and close the settings and we're going to open Marvel Strike Force and we're going to go ahead and let the settings let now the game because you're running at one frame it's going to take a minute to load so i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and as we wait for our marvel strike force game to load this is the part where you're probably tapping the 10 second thing and that's all good because it's all good now we're going to chill here and wait and let this load up well, hello there, Google. Thank you. And this will definitely take a couple minutes. I'm doing this live on Twitch. I'm on Twitch every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 in the morning Pacific time to 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. Just hanging out, playing the game how I want to play it. Uh, I have some fun. I What I do, my chat is filled with a, a lot of intelligent people. So therefore, when people have questions and stuff about the game, you can come to my channel. I will give you my perspective on it, which I think is the best. But then chat will open their mouths and will have a healthy discord about how they're wrong. But it is a healthy discord and I do enjoy it very much. 
these are the types of things. Also, we have a lot of people that come to my chat every day that have completed all of the most difficult content that Marvel Strike Force has to offer, and then therefore they can give some insight to what is you might need to do in the future. And that's what I like to do. I like to surround myself with smart people, and then I will make the best decision available from what they tell me. And we're still waiting for our Marvel Strike Force to load up. Still very, we have our arrow over the frames, but we're only getting one frame right now. Hence why it's also taking, this, this first load up right here will take some time. And that's okay, that's okay, that's what we want. That's, you know, that means it's working properly. And that's fine. Just go ahead and let it load up nice and slow. And um, I'm, what y'all don't see is I'm actually here petting my dog who likes to sit right where you see the frames. And because of that, I'm having to put my dog in my lap. And so, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna kick the dog out of the room. I, I love my dog very much. Both my dogs very much, I should say. And then we will, uh, one of these times I'll, I'll show them. But we're still waiting for the game to load up. It does take a little while because of the setting change. You know, but Marvel Strike Force, great game. If you want, uh, unfortunately, it's the, it is the type of game that takes a little while to earn all your characters. And then there are some very fun game mechanics that go with it. And we're still waiting for our game to load up, as I'm sure you're all clicking on the 10% or 10 second ahead button, which is all good. But this is worth the wait. It is legit worth the wait. And I do and cannot wait to meet a lot of you on Twitch if you guys want to come hang out with us. As we continue to wait for this ex very, very slow slow loading of Marvel Strike Force, which does take, you know, a couple minutes this first time, but it is so worth it. I cannot begin. I look, I'm making a video about it and I've never made a video before. That's how important I think it is because I just don't think the videos cover the stuff. All right, here we go. We are in, and as you see, our frames are absolutely garbage. So to fix that, we're gonna go to our settings going back to our engine and then we are going to click on enable high frame rates we're going to drag this all the way to the max and we're going to click on save and it says changes saved and as you see in the lower here let me make this bigger we have gone from zero frames to 120 frames 115 frames i know i set the setting to 240 but this is the max that it could go was 113 that's just what my computer can do um, my computer already i can i can tell you right here this looks a hundred times better than how i've been playing for the last month and a half this looks absolutely amazing um, I, we're in the midst of war right now obviously doing quite well fortunately for this video and that is nice but 108 120 frames i will give a really i'll do a really quick arena match so we can see what we have going on there and we will go ahead and fight um should we fight a mirror match here we'll fight look you guys want to see how to defeat castro and silver smurfer and the rest of the cosmic people let's go ahead and give it a go now if i lose this i'll probably be editing it out of the video but let's take a look at how good these settings can be this is the first time i'm facing this so if i could get my i could get my butt kicked right here but it's all in fun and all in science now i'm thinking i can just take them out with my team man this looks great though this looks absolutely amazing and in doing so i think i can go ahead and increase the well we're going to use silver surfer so i can't actually put high high level graphics mode on right now so we do not want certain people to go of course so we're going to go ahead and ability block kestrel 
because we're going to ability block Silver Surfer with Silver Surfer. This looks great though. I absolutely love this. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what we got that, oh my God. I'm getting three times the frames. Well, during that attack, I went to 60 frames, but usually my attacks were right around 10 frames. So this to me is significantly better, significantly better. I am absolutely loving this right here. It's like a new game. It's like a new game. And because of that here, we'll, sh we'll show uh, Rico Suave right here. Let's go long shot. We will go ahead and show how good this looks. That's 118 frames compared to the 30 frames I was playing on before. That is victory right there. That is victory. The frames today, even though they dip down during combat, are significantly better. And as I see, my dog went right to where the frame should be. Come here, baby, I love you so much. I know you wanna be in the video. But that is how we increase our frames and a little demonstration of them. Uh, my name is T-Dub, I thank you for watching. I've really enjoyed doing this video for you. I hope to bring you more videos. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, come by my channel. You guys, uh, we have a really nice little community going on here. I'm looking forward to meeting you. We are people that are collectively minded in the sense that we're all here to help each other achieve what we can in Marvel Strike Force so that we can all have more fun, whatever fun that is. You know, so um, we, we have a lot of fun every day and we welcome you to it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. We will be here, hopefully, more and more coming in the future. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.